Hello everyone. This is our today's practical and first we will discuss the aim of the practical. The aim is to determine the resistance of a galvanometer by half deflection method and to find the figure of melt. This is the circuit of the practical. The main aim is to calculate the resistance of the galvanometer. This is our galvanometer. This is our galvanometer and we have to calculate the resistance of this galvanometer by half deflection method and what is the half deflection method i will discuss later in the process of the experiment you will understand this now see the circuit diagram this is the circuit diagram this is our battery the positive terminal of the battery is connected with the resistance capital r and the other end of the resistance is connected with the galvanometer and the galvanometer is also connected with the key and the other end of the key is connected with the negative terminal of the battery and another resistance S is connected in parallel with the galvanometer and another key is there. The first key was key A1 and the second key is key 2. And we should know this, the resistance R is greater than the resistance S. So if uh, two resistance box are there in the practical, then you have to select the large resistance box as R and the small resistance box as S. Now we will make the circuit and then I will discuss the procedure of the practical. Now we will see the apparatus. This is the battery eliminator. This is the battery. These are the two key. We will use this two key as key 1 and key 2. And this is the one resistance and this is the galvanometer. And this is the another resistance. So we will take one resistance as R, another resistance as S. We have two resistance of equal value. So we can take any one as R or any one as S. But if you have given one large resistance and one small resistance, then always select the larger one as R and the smaller one as S. According to the circuit diagram, we will connect the positive end of the battery with the resistance box R. Now the other end of the resistance R will be connected to the resistance S. And the other end of S is connected with the key K2. You can see in the diagram the one end of the R is connected with one end of the S. And the other end of the S is connected with one end of key 2. And the other end of key 2 is connected with key 1. And with this two galvanometer is connected in parallel combination. So this end of K2 will be connected with another end of K1. The other end of the K1 will be connected with the negative terminal of the battery. Now this is the galvanometer, one end of the galvanometer will be connected with, we can connect this with this terminal of R or with the same terminal of S because these two terminals of R and S are connected, right? In this diagram you can see that galvanometer is connected with R also and with S also. So here we can connect the galvanometer with this terminal also or with this terminal also. Okay, I hope you understand this. And the another end of the galvanometer can be connected with one end of key one, one end of key two or one end of key one, right? Because one end of key one and key two are connected. So we can connect this end of the galvanometer with key two or with key one. You can see this key 1 and key 2 is connected by this wire. So we can connect this end of the galvanometer with this one or this end of the galvanometer with this one. These are similar. Now our circuit is complete. You have to remember the resistance which is connected with the positive terminal of the battery is the resistance R. And the other resistance is S. And the uh, key connected with the negative terminal of the battery is the key 1, that is K1. And other key is key 2. Okay. 
So now we will start our practical and you will understand the procedure. At first we will check our circuit is working properly or not. Okay. So first we will connect the key K1. Still the key K2 is open. Okay. Now we will take out the resistance. Suppose 1500. I have taken out the resistance 1500. You can see this. This is 1000 and this is 500. So total 1500 is taken out. Now I have connected the key K1 and K2 will be disconnected. Now in this situation we will on the circuit to check whether the circuit is okay or not. See the galvanometer is deflected right. So the circuit is working properly. Now I am disconnecting the key K1. We have to take the reading. To take the reading we have taken out the resistance randomly 1200 from this resistance box R. And now we will connect the key K1 and key 2 is open now. Okay. In this situation power supply is on. So here we can see the deflection of the galvanometer is 28. So here the deflection of the galvanometer is 28. Okay. Now our next work is to connect the key K2. This key should be connected properly. Now it is connected. We have connected key 2. So that now the deflection becomes 0. And then we have to take out a resistance from this small resistance box S. This is taken as the small resistance box S. We have to take such a resistance from this resistance box S. So that the deflection will become half. Previously we got the deflection 28. Now we will take out such a resistance from this resistance box S. So that the deflection become 14. So I have taken out this 50 resistance. Now you can see the deflection is 14, right? See this. This is the zoomed value. You can see the deflection is 14. Okay. So for the resistance R, for the resistance R 1200, for the resistance R 1200, the deflection was 28. And when we take the resistance S50, the deflection become 14. I am disconnecting the key, both keys. Already we have taken the reading. Now, see these. These are the readings. When R is 1200, the theta is 28. When S is 50, the half deflection, the theta by 2 is 14. Now we have to set the theta as 26 by changing the resistance R and obviously by connecting the key K1 and disconnecting the key K2. For this first reading, we will connect K1 and disconnect K2 and the second part, both key K1 and K2 will be connected. Now to take the second reading, I am connecting the key K1 and K2 is still open. Now we have to take 26. This is 28. This is much more low, so we have to decrease it small value. See, I am changing the, I am just changing the resistances. This is 26. This is 25 and this is 26. What is the value of the R when we are getting deflection 26? The value of the R is 1200 plus 100. This is 1300. And then the deflection you can see 26. Okay. So, for 1300 value of R, the deflection of the galvanometer theta is 26. Now, we have to connect the key K2. And for the previous reading, we have already taken out the resistance S50. Here we can see, we have to set it uh, 23 uh, because the value of theta was 26. So, the value of the theta by 2 will be 13. See, here we get the value 13. You can see this in the galvanometer. The value of the deflection is 13. Okay. And the value of the resistance S is 50. Okay. So we got our second set of reading. This is our second set of reading. For 1300 value of R, the value of theta is 26. For the value of S, the theta by 2 is 13. Now for the third set, set of reading, I am disconnecting key 2. And we have to change the value of R so that we can get 20 
as the value of theta. I am selecting the value of theta randomly. Okay. You can't select beyond 30. So, I am selecting 28, 26, 20, 22, 24 randomly. Okay. Still the value is not 20. So, I am changing. You have to adjust like this. I think now the value is 20. For the value of the resistance R, 1700. For the value of the resistance 1700, the deflection is 20. Okay, this is the value of the theta. Now to get the theta by 2, we have to connect the key K2. And you can see the deflection become 10. Okay, for the value of S50. Right. We have taken all the readings. These are the readings. And now we have to calculate the resistance of the galvanometer, which is G, using this formula. You can see in most of the cases, the value of the S remains same. We have not to change the value of the S. This is quite normal. This can happen in many cases. So you should not worry about this. Now we will calculate the resistance of the galvanometer. Now we have calculated the value of S. More or less the values are same. And we have calculated the mean value of the resistance of the galvanometer, which is 51.85 ohm. This is the average value of the resistance of the galvanometer. So I hope you can understand the process of the finding the resistance of the galvanometer by half deflection method. Now we will calculate the value of figure of merit. This is the table for figure of merit calculation. The EMF of the battery eliminator, which we have used, is given here 3.3 volt. Then we have to take the value of R from the above table and the value of corresponding theta from the above table. Then using this formula, we have to calculate the value of K. This K is the figure of merit. Then we have to take the mean value of the figure of merit. This is the mean value of the figure of merit. You have not to draw, make another circuit to get this value of figure of merit. You can get the value of figure of merit from the above table. If you want to make the circuit for figure of merit, actually, you have to disconnect this portion of the circuit to get the data of figure of merit, you have to disconnect this portion. When key 2 is disconnected, we are taking the value of the resistance R and the deflection theta. Then key 2 was disconnected. When we are taking the value of R and theta, then key 2 was disconnected. Then the circuit was like this. Okay. So you can do this circuit separately or you can take the value of the figure of merit from the above mentioned table. Okay, you have to remember one thing in this practical, which is very important. That is when you are taking the value of R and theta, when you are taking the value of R and theta, you should connect key 1. And when you are taking the value of S and theta by 2, both key 1 and key 2 are connected. This is the main point of the practical. I hope you understand this practical. If you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. Please like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you everyone.